Hey everybody, what's going on? This is Mr. Optimistic. Welcome back to my channel. Uh, before we get started, if you can do me a big favor, like the video, subscribe if you like what I'm posting. Uh, but today we're talking about misses. No one likes misses. Everybody hates misses. Gets you down the dumps, gets you really demotivated. But for me, it took me a couple years. It just didn't happen out of nowhere. Uh, but with a string of misses, it really shows you... <laughs> as I fall, it really shows you what you're made of, you know? You really gotta kind of disassociate yourself from the miss. Don't let it just cloud uh, your whole day or your whole workout. And you really just gotta take a minute, step back, quickly analyze what's going on. Or if you uh, videotape yourself like I do, record yourself, then you look at what you're doing wrong and hopefully uh, you can figure it out. But that's really what's important about either having a coach or just being kind of self-aware of your body and what's going on because you could not think you're tight but when you look at your snatch you're like oh wow my shoulder or wrist is not rotating over and you just got to reassess that you know that's just a part of the game because i've been through i i briefly remember uh three months of just really hating training and it's funny because it reminds me of that Muhammad Ali quote saying, I hated every minute of training, but I said, don't quit. Suffer now and live the rest of your life as a champion. And that's something I really have to live by because just if it's something that you're really passionate about, you'll find a way to win. You'll make time for it. You'll sacrifice things. And sometimes you'll hate it <laughs> because at the end of the day, you're really pushing yourself past your like mental capacity and your physical capacity as well and when you're beat up like that it really has you question if you really want to do this so that's a main reason why I started posting videos on YouTube is just to document my progress because a lot of these a lot of these videos that you see on Instagram a lot of them are just like highlight reels for the most part and I feel like that's common knowledge by now um, but I really just feel like the you know raw edited unedited videos or something that's would click for a lot more people because it's just showing every single misrep every single moment that i overcome multiple misreps or when i even have to drop weight because for me that's very humbling and i think a lot of people need to understand that this sport in particular is very humbling you cannot just push through some exercises and some exercises in order to learn from those mistakes you have to go down and weight and because going down in weight you'll refine your skills and you see those people more often than not end up being successful because there might be stretches of weeks where you're just not able to get a, a movement down um, like this movement you see is a close grip snatch this when I look over now it's I'm sticking my head a little too far forward so you know at a lighter weight I can kind of get away with it but you know as the weight gets heavier which it eventually will be that I'm gonna miss a lot. <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm gonna miss a lot if I don't correct that head movement because that will throw off my center of gravity and I'll probably either miss it forward or my timing will be all out of whack. And that will get frustrating because you'll remember the previous week where as you see right now, I haven't missed one. Now I'm like, oh, I'm nailing this. Oh, this feels great. This feels snappy. This feels amazing. No, oh, this is super easy. But you know, once that weight goes up, then your inconsistencies will be very exposed. So, you know, with these misses, like that one, <laughs> good timing, is is good, is good. And another one, because it throws things out of proportion, it throws you out of your rhythm, and it makes you respond, right? You either respond positively or negatively. You either get down or you get up. It's almost a little bit black and white. And I'm not saying that you're a robot, you should flip the switch and automatically understand like oh i gotta always reanalyze things and you don't want to overthink it to an extent you really want to get in some sort of flow state where you understand at least one thing or two things you want to correct on the next set and then just build off that because if you try to overanalyze all the things it's you're just going to miss everything it'll just get way more frustrated so um that's something that you know just i learned with time and i just feel like that's why i've always loved the sport is because there's always something to get better at and if you start plugging those holes and you're going to see exponential growth in all the lifts that you analyze correctly so that 
single right there was about a three kilo PR from last time. So I was just pretty hyped about that to be honest and that's something, that's a weight that I haven't put over my head in I would say a year or so from behind the neck because my wrist was really uh, holding me back from just staying confident at that position. And touching up on these squats as well, this is something that I'm trying to stay vertical. My problem is just shifting back. Get like my hips, as you see right there, shift back and then I get forward. So that's something where one, the flexibility comes into play and two, just being a little more conscious of keeping my hips under and not letting that weight push me back. So there shouldn't be a rocking motion. It should just be like an elevator straight down, uh, straight up. It should be pretty uh, robotic like that. But ending with these squats, it's it really it's one of my favorite things to do because I look forward to trying to correct that posture every time, especially at the end of my workout, which is typically like an hour and 10 minutes because it just proves that either I can maintain it or I need some better conditioning. <laughs> and that's something more often than not, it's, it's a grind fest. And that's something where that mental capacity, you just gotta take one rep at a time. If it's a set of three, if it's a set of four, I just think, okay, two reps, up two reps done but that ends this video guys i just want to tell you just keep focusing on the misses just keep focusing turn those negatives into positives you'll be a great athlete at the end of it so if you made it to the end of this video thank you so much for watching make sure to like comment and let me know if there's a different strategy other than mine that's helped you fix all your lifting mistakes Alrighty, guys until next time have a good one Bye.